little strange. It should have been a sweet memory, but there seemed to be something unpleasant. Yes, the blue ocean was still beautiful. Ah, he's so calm and peaceful. Huh? You liar! You are just making up that story! Oh, I see. You're awake, are you? What really happened was, I was working at a seaside hotel. I'll tell you something. You should feel honored to be able to clean the room of the Crown Princess of Jirai's royal family. Yes, indeed. It's quite a privilege. <laughs> <laughs> huh? But when I was out on the ocean, I felt so happy. It's so quiet. Takes one to know one, girl. Who do you think is telling the truth? Hmm. Both stories sound so real. Well, both of them must be telling the truth. Huh? She's a liar! She's a liar! Well, I think I'm going to bed. Me too. We should get some sleep too. Yeah, because we've got to get up early tomorrow. And we're off to bed too. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Anyone remember to turn off the gas? Yes, I did. I remember to do it so no one has to worry while oh, you... thank you. <laughs> Headquarters to all patrol ships. Headquarters to all patrol ships. There has just been a mysterious explosion in Zone 907. Proceed to the scene immediately. Repeat. just discovered that the explosion in Zone 907 was caused by Princess Ayaka and her group. All patrol ships engage in pursuit. Ah! A whole bunch of them are coming after us. And it's all your fault, Mahoshi. You're right, I'm sorry. Larry, they're right behind us. A battleship of Jirai! Battleship in front and the galaxy police in back, huh? What are we going to do? <laughs> it's Kenoki! Oh, great! So we've got Nagi on our tail now, too? Yeah! You cannot escape from me, Ryoko! I will defeat you! Uh. <laughs> is my prey. I won't let anybody interfere. Go while Nagi is distracted. Right, I know. Stop! Where do you think you're going? You take care of him for us, okay? Princess Ayaka is thought to be responsible for bombing on planet Concor. The terrorist group exchanged fire with the galaxy. Great, I get it. So now we're terrorists. That's perfect. The police are still looking for the suspects. Emperor Yosho delivered a speech regarding this incident condemning it as a rebellion against the space peace. I don't know about this Yosho character. Can he really be that legendary hero or what? 
I don't know. I think it's strange that he hasn't appeared in front of the media yet. Look, we have to reveal his true identity, or otherwise we'll be wanted criminals forever, Tenchi. Well, come on, you think positive, Kiyone. Something will work out once we get to planet Jirai, I know it! I really don't know whether or not we'll ever make it to the planet Jirai. Uh... Sit back and listen to this song that I'm singing. Proton, proton, sing proton, are interesting. Science is bad, and love can never be. Falling in love is based on chaotic theory. Emotions are exhausting. Quantum mechanics never ever making fun. We're scientific methods. Imaginary one will control the dawn, yeah! Listen, through his experiments, Heisenberg concluded that the accurate measurements of one of two related observable quantities, such as position and momentum, produces uncertainties in the measurement of the other. He figured that the product of the uncertainties of position and the uncertainties of momentum equal to or greater than h over 2 pi, where h equals Planck's constant. It means that observations in quantum mechanics always lead to uncertainty. You understand this, don't you? No, not at all. Uh... I think it's hopeless. We're heading for Planet Jiraiya aboard Kiyoni's spaceship Yagami. Yagami breaks down and we're stalled in the middle of nowhere. Ryoko's gone to Rio Oki for groceries, but will she return before we starve to death? I'm so hungry! We should have known better. Ryoko must have forgotten about us having some fun for herself. We must trust her, everyone! If we believe, she will come back! Don't you really? It's not a fairy tale. Next, no need for hunger. It's unquestionably disgraceful.